Connecticut junior Selena Soul won't be competing in the 55 meter dash. She was edged out of the top six spots in part by two transgender runners. Yes, I have. I have been labeled as transphobic and I have been labeled as a sore loser and that I should just try harder and train faster. And I do that, but there's no way I can be physically competitive with someone who is a male. At the Connecticut State Open meet in, in the indoor season, I was participating in the 55 meter race. You had to qualify from your class meet in and I qualified in eighth place. And in the preliminary round, I ran close to my personal best, only a hundredth of a second off of my best. And I came in eighth place and the and top seven qualify for the final and the top six advanced to the New England regional meet. And because there were two transgender athletes that bumped me down to eighth place. And if they weren't there, then I would have been the sixth girl. I would have been ensured a spot in the finals and I could have gained a higher placement and qualified for the New England meet. It's extremely intimidating and frustrating being forced to compete against someone who's biologically a male. It's scientifically proven that they are bigger and stronger than women as they have more muscle mass and they have bigger organs. And it's just not a fair contest having a woman compete against a man because no matter how hard she tries and how much work she puts in in practice, the male will always beat her. When we are all at the start line. We all know that these two athletes are going to win. And it should be that the girls are fighting for first and second place versus fighting for third and fourth place. Because in a given race, us girls, we will switch on and off with winning. It's not always the same girl each time, but when these two athletes participate, it is always one of them who is winning the race. This can greatly impact my future with college scholarships because on the results pages from the meets, there's no identification that these two athletes are transgender. They're either listed in under the boys' races or the girls' races. And unless the college coach would go and type into Google uh, this, these athletes' names or have watched one of the TV show segments on this, they have, would have no idea that these athletes are transgender. But they're gonna see that their times are way higher than any other girl in the field and they're gonna wanna recruit or try to recruit those two athletes. I've gotten attacked by some of the media. I don't pay too much attention to it because I know that majority of the stuff will be negative, but I've had people reach out to me on social media as well as athletes from other schools, and they've thanked me for my speaking out. And right now, currently, in Connecticut, I am the only girl who is speaking out. Everyone else is too afraid. And for me, it's hard speaking out. It's not always easy. But I know that this isn't right, and I'm going to do whatever I possibly can to bring back fairness to my sport.